Welcome back to another episode of Penny for Your Thoughts. It's your boy Chuck, and today we'll be back with another sneaker review. In this episode of Penny for Your Thoughts, we're talking about a collaboration between Nike and one of the most famous skateboarders of all time, man. We're talking about P Rod. Paul Rodriguez, but before we get into this shoe, I'm gonna need for you guys to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you guys can be notified we drop a new content to the channel. And be sure to follow us on our social media accounts on Instagram and on Twitter at P E N N Y underscore 4 Y T. And don't forget about the merch, man. The merch is available at P4YT2016.com. I know y'all tired of me talking, so let's get into this shoe. Here's the box that the Nike SB Dunk. P Raw collaboration comes in. You know, I just wanted to show you guys the box, man. This box is clean, man. It gets that OG feel. But let's get into the shoe. So let's get into the shoe, man. As you guys can see, there's a lot going on on both feet of this shoe, man. On the right foot, there's a lot going on. On the left foot, there's a lot going on, man. I'm gonna let y'all know what's going on on the right foot, but I'm not gonna get into each detail because it's it'll be a 20 minute video man and i don't really want to do a 20 minute video man and i know you guys don't want to watch a 20 minute video so i'm gonna try to get this done as soon as possible and i'm gonna let y'all know the inspiration and why this shoe is made the way it is man so as you guys know the nike sb dunk was created for skateboarders man if you, if you ride skateboards man you know about the and you know about the culture you know the dunk the retro one and things like that a lot of skateboarders were wearing back in the day they would wear the regular dunks but nike got wind of that situation and decided to design a nike sb and sbs it, the difference between the sb dunk and a regular dunk is that you know you have the fat tongue of course to protect the skateboarder's foot and there's a lot more cushion in the shoe man there's a lot more you know protective going on in the shoe there's a lot of cushion in the inside you put your foot in the sb dunk and a regular dunk you'll definitely feel the difference the reason why these are two different shoes and there's a lot going on on both shoes is because p rod has his own signature line with nike and they took something from all 10 shoes and they just added it to each each foot man so there's a lot going on i'm gonna give you a lot of looks at this shoe man you get a look right here at the toe box right here uh you got the you got the dubray right here gold dubray you got the yellow shoe strings on the toe box you have black leather and then you have this design going around it come over here to the side you have this gray material in here you even have some cement on here uh you have a black swoosh with a yellow lining you have the gray leather here. Um, these joints come with mad different shoe strings too. So you, you get you get lime green, you get yellow, and you also get red. On the inside of the shoe, it has like a blue cushioning in the inside. I'm sure this is from one of P. Raw's shoes. On the back, you have the, the P. Raw logo right here with the rainbow colorway. Um, you slide over here to the other side. You have this gray lasered material right here i don't know if you guys can see that but you feel the lasering on the inside uh you don't have a, a, a typical swoosh so you just have the you know the stitching of the swoosh and then you have like a, a nike black swoosh right here uh you have a cream sole and then you have the gum bottom man uh if you guys are familiar with this channel i always big up the gum bottom the gum bottom could change a shoe it could make or break a shoe pretty much make it every time if you throw a gum bottom on the bottom the shoe is gonna pop regardless, man. Um, on the tongue, you have a black mesh tongue here with the P Raw script logo. Um, got a lime green insole. You know, this is just the right foot, man. This is just all the details that's on the right foot. I don't really want to go into why each thing is there, man. I'm just letting you know that there's so many different details on this shoe. So let's get into the left foot now. All right, here we go left foot time man it's a lot going on man but we're gonna get into it we're gonna talk about it man all right so let's go on the toe box first the toe box here you have like a a suede beige right here with a little bit of and on the top of it is like black leather um on the outside of the toe box right here you have that uh cement right here let's slide over here to the tongue you have a the the, the fat tongue right here in white you have another p rod tab right here you have the red shoe string slide over here you have the multicolor swoosh which i think is dope that's super dope that multi multicolor swoosh is dope you have a white background uh you come over here you have the black splatter 
material here. Then you also have the beige splatter material here also. You got the Nike with the green with the black stitching. Slide over here to the other side. Slide over here, you have the mustard suede swoosh. You have the black kind of pat leather material background. Uh, you even have like some regular just brown stitching here, which is which is a crazy twist. Um, you slide over here, you have more of that cement. On, on the inside, you have the red inside. You know, tough material, man. Pretty much uh, cushion material, which is pretty good for this shoe. You have the, on the sole here, you have the Mexican flag colorway. You know, when you pay homage to, you know, the Mexican flag Nike's doing because P-Rod is Mexican and you have the white midsole, man. So you can't, like this shoe is, it, it's, it's been very sought after. A lot of people wanted this shoe. A lot of people tried to get this shoe, man. Shout out to Tay. I was able to get my hands on this shoe because my peoples, they tend to get a lot of shoes, man. Like, they, they still in the game and they, they in the hunt and they get their hands on a lot of different shoes, man. And they always just throw them to me and tell them to put on the channel. So, uh, I do it for y'all, man. I put it on the channel. You know, I take time on my day. This is a lot of hard work and I get it done for y'all, man. But y'all know what time it's time for me to rate this shoe. And out of five pennies, I'm going to keep it all the way real, man. I'm gonna give these joints four and a half out of five pennies, man. This shoe really pays homage to P. Rod and what he, and what he helped Nike do with the whole Nike SB situation. He helped Nike push it to the forefront, and it was doing a lot of big numbers in the 2000s, the early 2000s, late 2010s. They was doing a lot of big numbers off the dunk. The dunk in the Air Force One was holding down Nike at one point, man. So. For them to you know show show respect to what P-Raw did and what he brought to the table, man, which is really really dope. I really appreciate Nike for giving him the opportunity to come out with the what the P-Raw man, which is dope marketing. You know, anytime they do a what the, it's pretty much you know they just showing homage to something or someone, man. So you know, with that being said, we keeping it 100 and not a penny less. Peace.